and, and and this is what I mean about the fact that that these layers, right? This this, it's kind of like a game with your own mind. It, it's it's the it's your uh, conscious layer, your automated, um, unconscious, and then subconscious layer. I think uh, one of the things that that um, is not very well described in um, in the traditional psychology is the fact that you have a personal subconscious and then you have a collective subconscious layer mm. and 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 the two are, are kind of different but very much the same in that they are not conscious and and it's always a game that that goes on between all of that and then when when people are communicating they there's so much going on um synchronicity wise synergy wise uh, it's it's just well, it, it never gets boring to to me really. and that's before we even get into like the sort of physiological aspects of things like body language and even things like the theory of interactive alignment where brainwave patterns of two people who are in agreement will actually start to synchronize after a while so it is, and it's it's absolutely fascinating stuff. And and um, and the, the the book that I that I also mentioned in in our interview, the the book by uh, by Jung about synchronicity, um, it is it is so weird because whether or not that is a physical fact in the real world, whether or not something is predetermined or fate or kismet or whatever you call it, um, the fact that you interpreted as that that is key because that's going to change your whole attitude towards the situation well I think that that's the, the birthing moment it, it, it meant nothing until you recognize the synchronicity then it became what it became which I find that even fascinating it, it this was the spark that led to this synchronistic association but did it exist before that you know that that's that to me that moment it's almost like, well, then, bam, a new reality has been created from that point on. And 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 this kind of in, inspires me to to, to mention. Uh, I know that you must have seen these um, uh, Terence McKenna and uh, and Sheridan, where they are interviewing uh, or they are having a dialogue um, in in Prague, um, where they are talking yeah. about um, um, what's called the zero point. Um, the point in the future that's drawing reality towards it and this is very much on the same topic I know that it sounds as if I'm segueing but because you notice is, is, is that the same thing as the time wave zero you kind of his uh, where, reality, where reality is spiraling, spiraling like a, a clock spring into a into a sort of a pivotal moment yeah and it's 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 um, um, it's his his work with the um, with the with the I Ching, uh, where he created this software that that shows these patterns, and then he's analyzing it. He's basically he's using uh, a computer to read tea leaves, and then he's uh, doing prophecy. But the, but the really important thing is is what you related about synchronicity, about the the, the fact that when you see patterns um, in a relation with someone or um, in knowledge that you uh, come about um, because you see that pattern you fill it out you realize that pattern because it changes your behavior so that means that a a pattern that is not yet formed that you are creating in your mind is then being realized you are yeah. actualizing the pattern that was not m maybe there at all but because yeah. you you believe that it's there, then you will act on it, and then it becomes real. Yeah. And 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 that is kind of what um, Charles McKenna is talking about when he's saying that there's a point in the future at the end of time that's pulling humanity towards it. This is like a a common vision uh, that all human beings have we we kind of by consensus we we move towards a common goal and because it's something we all want then that becomes like a potential point that's pulling us towards it 
Yes. And it's, it's so weird because all these things, when I saw it, it didn't make sense. <laughs> And this is what I mean about the weird synchronicity about stumbling upon your work, because your work has, has really sparked a lot of thinking in, in these areas that I didn't really know how to put together. And suddenly it just becomes so easy. It's, it's as if I hadn't sorted the, the, the pieces of the puzzle right. I had the blues with the greens or something like that, and now they're just coming together all of them all these things that I didn't understand before it's really spacey <laughs> well that's good I'm glad to hear that I'm glad to hear that's work for you 